Good morning, teacher and friends. I'm Silaba Pa, and today I'm going to talk about microplastic and biodiversity. To begin with, let's look at the definition of microplastic. Microplastic are small parts of plastic with a length of less than five millimeter that are found in a wide range of products. There are two types of microplastic, which is um, which are primary and secondary microplastic. Primary microplastic include microfibers that are shed from coating and other fabrics such as fishing nets, as well as particles created for commercial purpose, such as cosmetics. Secondary microplastic originate from um, the breakdown of larger plastic goods, such as water bottles. Microplastic do not decompose. Therefore, once they exist in the environment, they remain in the ecosystem for a long period of time. According to a team of scientists from Kyushu University, they have assessed the amount of microplastic in the world's upper ocean and have discovered that um, there are 24.4 trillion pieces of microplastic in the ocean. However, the actual amount is expected to be substantially higher. Furthermore, microplastic have impacts on marine life. Since um, many marine life digest the plastic, and finally, humans are then eating this plastic with the food that they consume. But uh, moreover, microplastic also affect the drinking water quality. A study shows that uh, microplastic contamination was found in 93% of uh, bottled waters and the contaminations come from the containers or pipes that are made of different types of plastic. And in a business context, corporate social responsibility is a management concept in which business incorporate social and environmental issue into the operations and interaction with stakeholders. The adoption of strategic corporate social responsibility can improve company, company performance. According to the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, the business that adopts CSR program has increased their market value by 6%, their price by 70%. Um, retention rate by 50% and reduce the risk by 4% and cost of debt by 40%. Moreover, philanthropic activities also have a positive impact on business performance. Philanthropy is the way that organizations seek to promote uh, the welfare of others, for example, by donating money. And moreover, corporate environmental responsibility is a company duty to evaluate and ensure that the corporation, I'm sorry, the corporate ever operations do not damage the natural environment such as waste emission and unsustainably resource usage. On the managerial side, the classical stakeholders consist of five primary stakeholders, but it does not sufficiently reflect the impacts that business have on the environment. Therefore, business need to consider stakeholders in the sustainability context, which include future communities, natural environments, and sorry, natural ecosystem and non-human species. Next, entrepreneurs see the opportunity from eliminating eliminating the plastic by coming up with a sustainable business idea like upcycling, downcycling, and recycling. Upcycling means the process of converting used materials into a new function in their second life, which will have higher quality. Here is an example. Upcycling elephant poop near Chiang Mai, Thailand. Elephant poops are mixed with paper mache and upcycle to create grading cards and notebooks, while downcycling converts material into something that has lower value. Another example of business is Burel. Burel is the company that takes corporate environmental responsibility seriously and is a certified B corporation. It manufactures unique and sustainable products by using the old fishing nets. First, they collect discarded fishing nets from the, uh, the coastal community. Then the nets are cleaned and shredded into pallets and recycled into net plus yarn. After that, the yarn is woven into fabrics and used in a range of products. And net plus also partner up with multiple brands and Patagonia is one of those companies. Patagonia converts fishing net into a brim and fabric, which has helped keep more than 149 metric tons of waste plastic out of the world's ocean. 
Furthermore, to solve the plastic pollution, Greenpeace suggests that consumers should apply seven R strategy uh, to solve this problem at the root cause, which include reduce, reuse, refill, um, return, repair, replace, and recycle. With this strategy, it may not significantly reduce the amount of waste, but if all people are willing to apply this strategy together, there will be a little waste sent to the landfill. And that's it. the end of my in sorry that is the end of my presentation thank you